motherfucker. How you doing guys? This is Nick the Tech Guy from Vanishing Gates with my daughter Mariah from Vanishing Gates. And tonight we're going to do a broadcast about technology and dealing with uh, Microsoft, anything to deal with Xbox Live, Windows XP, Windows uh, Vista, uh, anything up to Windows 10 server, um, anybody about I Xbox hardware. Mariah's got some stuff that she wants to speak on. Emily Rose. The Emily Rose situation. So we're going to send it off to Mariah first. Let her get her story out. Say what she has to say. We'll have some Q&A discussion going on. And uh, hopefully have a good time. Go ahead, Mark. It's on you. Okay. The exorcism of Emily Rose t took place in 1975. So basically, her both of her parents were Roman Catholic and went to church. They went to Mass twice a week. She was 16 when she started having seizures. And uh, one time, she was in, the, in her house. She would look at the Virgin Marys with her eyes jet black in her hands, thick paws with claws. This is when her mom started noticing this. So... After seeing a neurologist, Dr. Luthi, she told him that she was seeing demon faces tw that were tormenting her, and she said she felt like the d devil was inside her. Dr. Luthi advised, advised them to consult a religious official, which they found Dr. Alt. She barely slept. Dr. Who? Alt. Alt? Yes. She barely slept. She prayed all night. She ate spiders and flies and even licked her own urine off the floor. She did, She destroyed rosaries, crucifixes, and holy pictures off the walls. She also exhibited her sister. No, she exhibited the strength that was, quote, almost super, superhuman, and threw her sister as if she was a rag doll. A priest named Father Rodeke was convinced she was possessed. An exorcism was approved by Bishop, and Father Renz was the one doing it. September 24th, 1975 was the first exorcism. He recorded them all, which they were there were 42 in all. In one of them, she was claiming to be Judas, Nero, Cain, and Hitler. She, which she said there was, was six of us, which turned out to be only five. She started banging her head on the walls, biting herself and others. It was to the point where her family had to tie her up to prevent herself, prevent hurting herself. Then she refused to eat, described it was not being permitted to eat, even though she weighed under 80 pounds. June 30th, 1976, she had another exorcism, which she said, please absolution. Mind you, she had them once or twice a week and still did not seek medical help. The next day, her parents went into, in her, into her room to find her dead. She died of starvation at the age of 23 and had 67 exorcisms, also weighing 68 pounds when she died. And she had broken knees, which contracted pneumonia. All right, so, anyways, Emily Rose, for a lot of you who don't realize, that goes along with the movie, and the, the exorcism of Emily Rose is actually based on a true story. So there was actually a real Emily Rose. Um, and this is a girl that was afflicted by multiple possessions throughout her whole life. And basically what happened was the church came to the decision that she needed exorcism. They performed way too many exorcisms, and, and, in, and in doing so, probably caused more damage to the girl than she had in the first in the first place. Um, my, how many exorcisms did she have? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven, folks. Sixty-seven exorcisms. My daughter's been really, really um, on top of this. She's really into this kind of stories. Um, anything you're dealing with exorcisms and the in the Catholic Church and uh, the uh, exorcism of, of a spirit from the body. So, um, anyways. So, my daughter asked me if she could do a show with me, and me and Jay were talking about this for a couple months now. We had planned to do this a couple weeks ago, but with school and stuff like that with her, because she is still in school, we needed to make sure it was scheduled at a time where we could do it, uh, and then it came up to the point where Jay was going to be out of town. Uh, by the way, Jay is doing chat. Uh, what's up, Hoover? Uh, so, Jay was going to be out of town, so I'm like, well, hey, I'll do some shows, fill some time, do some hour blocks uh, to keep our channel going. And Mariah heard me talking about it yesterday, and she's like, "Hey, Dad, is there any way I could do the Exorcist Emma Road?" And by like my antlers, antlers by the way. Uh, so I'm like, "Yeah, but, but I want to do a tech show anyways, you know." And, and I have some stuff I want to talk about, but there's not a lot of things I want to talk about. Um, 
But there were some things I wanted to talk about anyway, so I'm like, yeah, if you want to do a show with Dad, you know, and look stupid on camera, what the hell? So um, I had technical difficulties. It was supposed to be at 9 o'clock for Central Time, 7 o'clock uh, Western. Uh, but I had a mic that just failed, just died for no reason. It's just like, hey, I don't want to work no more. So um, it took me a little while to get everything straightened around. I had to change up some software and do some new stuff and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, that's tech life. Um, so... Me and Mariah have been sitting here for about an hour trying to get ready for the broadcast. Um, but anyways, so back to Emily Rose. So she had 67. Yes. 67 exorcisms. That is a lot. For those of you who don't know and may never have heard of it, um, exorcism is where the church official comes in and tries to exorcise a demon or a spirit from your soul, from your body. They believe in uh, demonic possession. So what they're saying is you, if you have... Symptoms of a demonic possession, the stigmata, uh, first sight, for future sight, um, uh, demonic voices, speaking in ancient tongues, stuff like that. They'll try to exercise that spirit from you. And in doing so, it is quite a, a, an ordeal. Um, it's actually not something like you see in the movies. Oh, they lay in the bed and they power of Christ. No, that's really not what it is. Really what it, what it involves is it involves a very intense situation where they usually bind the human being uh, by the hands and the feet to the ground. Um, they bind them flat most of the time so that they can exercise the demon without them hurting themselves. But a lot of times, these people that they're exercising have so much anger or so, you know, they're so wound up, they end up hurting themselves. In case point, Emily Rose, in her final ex uh, exorcism, she broke both her knees. So, um, but Emily was a different and special case because she's one of the few cases the church actually says was a true demonic possession. So a possession in which um, she possessed all the signs of a demonic uh, possession. Uh, um, yeah, demonic. Uh, holy moly, I just lost my brain there. Possession. Um, possession. Thank you, Jenny. Jenny's in the background. She's my camera guy. Uh, demonic possession tonight. So um, what happened was there's about seven of them in recorded history that are considered true demonic possessions by the Catholic Church. Um, and it got to the point where Emily Rose uh, refused to eat, and she was starving herself. And they put her in a mental hospital. Her mother didn't know what to do with her. Um, she was getting very sick, very, uh, very ill. And eventually her mother decided that the best thing for her was to have this final exorcism, to try to push out in the... And I believe what I was reading, the Catholic Church actually sent a bishop from Rome to perform the final exorcism. Um, and he never got there in time. So her, her mother, it was taking too long, and her mother chose to do it from a local priest. Um, I don't think he was from actually local. I think he was out of state, but somebody here in the U.S. So he performs this exorcism on Emily, and they bind her hands and feet. And in doing so, he stretched her. I don't know if you guys know what stretching means, but they put your hands and feet straight out, and they bind you and pull you taut so you can't move. And uh, in doing so, he caused severe damage to her. Um, broke both her kneecaps. Um, she was flailing about and uh, had broken a couple ribs, had some internal bleeding afterwards, and shortly afterwards, she died. So, here's, here's what she likes about it, and actually what I like about it. I like the fact that we all know you, what do you think? Do you think demonic possession is real? I think so, yeah. I think it is. I think I think there's a lot of things that we don't know that we could probably learn more from. Um, now, true, I'm, I'm not you know, I'm not saying all all things are real. All these all these supposed demonic possessions are correct. But what I am saying is that there are some valid, legitimate cases that can't be explained. Um, there was the what are the three sisters from uh, South America who saw the Virgin Mary. Um, that's something that could be explained. You've got the um, orb of, uh, uh, light orb of melody, which was seen by two fishermen um, that was witnessed by thousands. That couldn't be explained. Um, and then you've got the the bleeding Teresa, which to this day still bleeds, and they and they've moved the statue. Like, they literally moved the statue from its pedestal and were in transit with it, and it bled while it was in transit. So, there's a lot of things going on there that we don't know, okay? And um, a lot of things that we 
Well, that's what Revenge Against is for. It's a lot of things we don't know and a lot of things we want to know or things we want to know information on. So I told Mariah, I said, hey, you know, if you want to do this show tonight, go online, do your homework. Because if I ask you hard questions, I need you to have hard answers. So, um, 1976, I believe, right? She started this? 1975. 75. 75, because that's just starts. So, in this last how many years? Do you know? I think... A year. A year of possessions? Yes. Okay, so it's a year, guys. 60-some exorcisms in one year. So that's 60-some times they bound her, they tied her to the floor or flat surface. You know, that's good. That, that don't break anybody's body down. In my body, your body, anybody's body, eventually. Um, so, so anyway, she died. And um, when she died, I know that the church buried her in a special form. Did you read that part? No. Okay, so the church buried her with a relic. I don't know if you guys know what a relic is, but a relic is something that's considered holy and sacred in the church. Um, could be a piece of blood, a drop of blood, or a blood-stained cloth, um, a ring, or a pair of shoes that belong to somebody that's religiously famous. But they buried her with, with a relic. Well, they did that for one of two things. One, they wanted her to be at peace in the grave. And two, they wanted it to prevent whatever was possessing her from possessing somebody else. Did you find out what the, the spirit's name was that was possessing her? It was um, Judas, Nero, Cain, and Hitler. Okay, so she, 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 was, she was saying multiple possessions. Yes. Which is not uncommon, just so you know. When you can be possessed, you can be possessed by multiple demons. Um, it's actually really normal. So, okay. So, she's, she's, she's we're going to say, supposedly, because I don't know, supposedly, um, possessed by these people. Um, so, you know, in the process of removing the possession, she died. And um, her mother, did you read the story, the, uh, the back story of her mother and Ether story? No. Yeah, you should have really read that. It's really no. interesting. Okay, so her mom, after she dies, um, she looks for answers why she died. So they do an autopsy on her and all this and that. And they find that she's got four broken ribs and internal bleeding but here's the fun stuff she had internal bleeding in a way that was impossible for her to get while strapped to the floor and the way her ribs were broken they were broken at the sternum okay so i don't know if you guys know but the sternum in your chest is the strongest part of your body believe it or not your sternum is weak but the connections for your ribs are super strong uh, because your chest obviously flexes all the time you're breathing so she had broke four four ribs in her sternum okay and she had internal bleeding at her heart and at her intestines. So that's what killed her in the end. She got an infection, she died. Oh, uh, there's my horns. Jingle bells go to hell. All right. So <clears throat> she just passed away. So her mother's looking for answers. She goes to all these specialists. She, she, she has her autopsy done, blah, 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 blah. And um, 10 years later, so this is in like 1988, I think, or someone's around there. I was reading. Um, her mother commits suicide. And on her mother's suicide, she leaves a note saying that she, too, had been possessed as a child by a spirit named Jol... 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 I think it was Jol... Um, and that she believed that Jol... had possessed Emily. And that Emily was acting out in the name of Jol... So... That's the reason why the church says it's holy. It's a holy miracle or it's a holy sacrament. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that screaming in the background. My four year old's not happy. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean this. That's the story of Emily Rose, and my my daughter wanted to do it. We had already touched on this once before at Vanishing Gates. We have spoken about this actually a couple of times here on Vanishing Gates. So, um, you know, just wanted to touch base with everybody, let them know that we're still doing it. Um, kind of, you know, I'm happy that my children are are into this, but, uh, you know, it, it's it's okay to ask answers. It's okay to get answers. Um, it's okay to ask questions. Um, or ask questions, get answers, I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's not okay to let it run your life. So, I let my children watch movies like that. Um, I let them read subjects like that. Um, I don't hide them from that stuff. But I also keep it in reality. Um, we recently watched a movie called The Nun. Which, by the way, is based on a true story, just so everybody knows. Very good movie. Um, yeah, it was a very good movie, Jenny. 
Um, great movie, but they got a lot of the facts wrong. So when you're watching these movies, you know, think about this, okay? You watch some Exorcism and Real Arrows. It's not a true portrayal of what happened. You really need to go do the background checking and the background searching and, and look and see what really went down because especially with stuff like that where you're dealing with true life facts that deal with people in their lives, a lot of the stuff is misgrouped. So that's my end of uh, Emily Rose for tonight. Um, but, so, now it's tech time. Oh, might I also add, even though if you still believe in Jesus... Are you fucking, are you fucking recording now? Yeah, I am! Uh, you still will get possessed even though you still go to church and believe in okay. Jesus. And there's a tape where she actually screams and growls and she says something in ancient time, which I don't know what she says. And um, I think she probably said uh, Lucifer's name because a woman in the background said his name. And she said she mumbled something in ancient time, which I didn't really understand. Ancient Latin? Yeah. Latin. Probably. Okay, yeah, no, probably. Latin. 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 Um, so Jennifer wants to get in on the show, but she's going to do another show with me here in a couple of days, just so everybody knows. We're going to touch on some new subjects. Anyway, so let's talk tech. That's my field. That's what I do best. Okay. All right. Xbox, Maya. Okay. The Xbox love. Mm -hmm. Anyways, first of all, let's be start off with saying anybody who plays PlayStation needs to get their head examined, okay? <laughs> Go get you an Xbox, get on the real system. That's the first thing. Secondly, let's talk about Bethesda and the accidental leaking of people's names, information, and credit cards. Oh. So they initially decided that they, they were going to deny it, that it didn't happen, it was just people's names and email addresses. Well, that's not really true. There's about 750 people on the forums who have filed complaints about fraud on their credit cards. One guy went as far as it showed where they had him been hacked, and an hour and 45 minutes later, somebody tried to make a draw from his bank account. So, Bethesda's response. Well, we had no credit card information on file. We don't keep credit card information on file. The hackers this afternoon decided they were going to release, what they did was they blotted out most of the information, but they released the names and partial credit card numbers for all these individuals. Now, we're not talking the last four digits, folks. They released digits in the middle. <laughs> so you could tell it was... Legitly the credit card. Yeah. So now Bethesda's doing, uh, I don't want to say they're doing crowd control, but they started yanking down posts and videos on this on YouTube today. And a friend of mine who I did a tech video on this a couple of days ago um, just recently got a, a, a notice from YouTube that their video was being removed. So why would, why would Bethesda want to strike and remove videos? Well, they want to strike or remove videos because they know they're going to get sued. They're not only going to get sued for the game, which, by the way, was not what they promised. Um, not even just the game itself. So, I don't know if you guys heard about the controversy with Bethesda selling it. It's $200 versions of the game. And it was supposed to come with a canvas bag. Canvas bag. The canvas bag scandal. Well, they shipped them out with these polyester garbage bags. Okay? But they took all the really nice canvas bags they, power, they promised everybody, and they gave them to the people who have influential channels on YouTube. Oh, hair, hair back, head back, head go, head back. But uh, you guys who pay 200 bucks, no, you can get a plastic bag. Be happy. Well, today they filed suit. They officially filed suit today. Um, there's a class action lawsuit against Bethesda in which uh, 255 defendants uh, filed saying that it was... Uh, Basically, it's going to be fraud, it's going to be theft of services, and most likely it's going to be, I don't want to say investment of funds, but it's going to be some kind of financial theft. Because the canvas bag has, a, has an intrinsic value, and has a monetary value, and it wasn't provided with what they said they were going to. Now, mind you guys, the pre-orders even listed canvas bag on the pre-order. But what Bethesda did was, on the back of the game, in the little fine print, it says, we may substitute, we reserve the right to substitute for blah, 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 blah. Well, that's not legal. It's not legal. You can't sell something big print in the front, this is canvas bag, and then say, well, but we reserve the right to change it whenever we want. So Bethesda's in trouble. So uh, I was actually been watching the tech blogs, waiting for Bethesda to have an official response. Probably won't be today or probably tomorrow. Um... But yeah, Bethesda, you're in a lot of trouble. 
Fallout 76, I, I, it's got mixed reviews, okay? I'm a Fallout 76 liker. I like Fallout 76. I like the game. I like the mechanics. I like the online play. I like the multiplayer. I like everything about it. Yes, is it different? Totally different. But is it Fallout? No. It's actually a new game. It's, it's still a Fallout franchise, but it's something different in the Fallout franchise. People seem to forget that we're just a year, not even a year away from the new Fallout game. There is a single-player Fallout game that's coming out. It's already in development. It's been in development. Not on top of not on that, but you've got a new Elder Scrolls coming out. Okay, people are going to want that. They're going to buy that. So no, none of these guys who are complaining right now about, oh, I got robbed in Fallout 76 and I want my $60 back. Yes, the game went on sale three days later. It was Black Friday. Of course it went on sale. Move on. You know, so a lot of those people complaining now, they'll play the new Fallout. They'll play the new Fallout 79 or Fallout 6 or whatever they call it, Fallout 4 probably, or Fallout 5. Um, they'll play it. They'll buy it. I know I will because guess what? I'm not scoring. I paid $120 for my Fallout edition, and I get $120 worth of entertainment out of it. It doesn't bother me to the fact that the game is a flop for everybody else. I've had a lot of fun. And if you listen to people's reviews and they say, oh, well, there's nothing to do. It's it's linear. There's no there's no NPCs. You know what? That's people who don't know how to read, obviously. There's a lot to do, a lot to read, and a lot to handle inside the game. All you have to do is try to do it. So uh, people don't like the fact you have to read. You know, well, you know what? Get a life. Who cares? Same thing with Red Dead Redemption, you know? Red Dead Redemption, it's not what we all wanted. Okay? Rockstar dropped the ball on it. I love the game. But the multiplayer is terrible. Okay, where where are the heists? Where where are the train robberies? Where are the bank robberies? You know, where are these gang things that we're supposed to be having? None of that stuff has showed up yet. They're gonna keep it. They're gonna keep it in beta. That's what they'll do. They'll keep it, the multiplayer in beta for four or five months until they figure out how to do the stuff. Then they'll bring it out. But right now we got what we got. People are upset about it. You just have to move on. So uh, you know that's 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 you know those two games here in a nutshell. Um, another thing, so, um, uh, I'm not a big fan of Battlefield 5, but I did buy Battlefield 5. I noticed today that I went in the store on Xbox, it's 50% off. $32 off, half price. So, obviously, EA has got another flop in their hands. They will never admit it, of course. EA is never going to admit they've made mistakes. Um, they'll, they'll you know, whitewash it and whatever and give out free DLC like they did with Battlefield 1. By the way... Not only did we get Battlefield 1 for free on the Xbox, we got the Premium Pass for free. We got all the DLC for free. We got the whole kit and caboodle absolutely free from EA. Why? Because in the end, it was a terrible game that had terrible mechanics and terrible gameplay. The maps look really pretty, but you know what? It's not hard to make sand look good, okay? When I'm shooting a guy 800 miles away and, he's in a, you know, and he snipes me, from a mile away with an M1 like he you know, like he's using a 50 cal Barrett. The game's got issues. Whatever. It was a good game for what it was, but I, I liken it to Battlefront. Battlefront 2. Another flop. Why is it these EA games? A lot of EA games are, are, are issues. Like it's a, it's a lot of EA games. You know, EA, do us all a favor. Why don't you stick to sports? Do sports. That's what you guys do good. Go play some football. Man, go football. By the way, Current score right now for the uh, Rams uh, Bears game is six to fifteen Bears. Yeah, yeah, go Bears. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, EA, do us all a favor. Just, just stick to what you do best. Go, go make a hockey game. Go, go make a soccer game or something. You know, do that. Don't, don't make first person shooters. You're not good at it. Don't buy studios up and and, and, and say, oh, we're, you know, like Maxis. Honestly, EA ruined Sims. They ruined The Sims. They ruined Sim City. There's a reason why the number one city building game right now is called City Skylines. It's not. It's not Sim City no more. You know why? Because they couldn't do it right no more under EA's licensing. Maxis just couldn't operate. They, you know, they had huge powerhouse titles. You had Sim City, Monster Tile, Spore. Everybody forgets how big Spore was. Spore was huge, absolutely huge. What they do, they took all those resources and they rolled them into stupid Sims. You know, The Sims is fun for about 20 minutes until you realize it takes you 45 minutes to build a wall. And it's no longer fun. It's no longer fun. 
You know, it's not like you walk in, build, walk into a house and start playing The Sims. No, you got to build a house. Oh, your house has got to have wallpaper. Oh, your house has has lights, carpeting. Oh, your Sims has to have a bathroom. Oh, they have to have a sink. Oh, they have to this that. It gets old. It gets really old. Sim City. I loved that game. I loved it to death. But man, EA, you destroyed Maxis on that one. You just absolutely beat them into the ground. And now that's why City Skyline is the best, by far the best. There's no competition. No competition whatsoever. So let's talk about some sleeper hill hits that are coming out. <clears throat> well, we all know Final Fantasy is getting a remake. Okay, and we're getting a Final Fantasy collection to the Xbox. And I say about that is we're actually going to get Final Fantasies that we've never had before on Xbox. Because they were PlayStation exclusives. That'll be fun. Great game. Great title. Lots of fun. Uh, it looks like Call of Duty is doing their next Black Ops. So we'll be getting our, uh, not Black Ops, I'm sorry, Ghost. So we're going to finally get a Ghost 2. Let's hope they've learned the lessons from Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3. I doubt they have, and God, let's hope they've learned their lessons from World of War. Oh, man, we got that, that, that train wreck. Uh, I can't even tell you why, why I spent that much money on the game. I got four hours in it, if that. Four hours, the whole game. That's it. I, I just couldn't do it. It was just terrible. Just terrible. Um, we got, uh, we got Destiny 2. Destiny 2 has a new DLC out this week, uh, for, or this last week here from the called the Black Armor. Uh, for you people who have the, uh, Season Pass, um, uh, great game. A lot of new content, a lot of new stuff to find in it. Uh, I've been playing a lot with my, uh, fellow gamers. Um, let's see, uh, Microsoft, here's a, here's a, get off gaming for a second here. Microsoft has finally fixed the Windows update. Yay! Took them since October. October 7th, they had to shut the update system off. Now, people, better people know that, but you have not received a system update since October. Why? Because they released an update that was bricking laptops. Literally bricking them to the point where they would never turn back on. It was flashing the BIOS. So, they finally got that fixed, and yesterday they turned down the update system. We got new updates coming out. Um, this year here, Xbox has got, uh, well, they got a lot of stuff coming out, but I can't really talk about all of it. Um, got a lot of good games coming out. Um, I did go ahead and, and, and I have played around with the um, the classic systems. So the NES Classic, the SNES Classic, the PlayStation Classic. Garbage. PlayStation Classic is terrible. Why they chose those games, I will never know. They, all the IPs they have and they chose that crap. I mean, what they give us? Twisted Metal. That's it. That's all that's really worth it. Who the hell's playing Siphon Filter? Who's doing, who's doing that? Who's doing that? Nobody. Nobody's playing that garbage. It's over. So, yeah, that looks like it's going to be a wash. But the good news is they've hacked it already as of today, and they figured out how to load your own games on it. So you can put what you want on it. Um, what kind of games are you into right now, Maya? What are you into? Mostly first-person shooting. What games? Built, uh, Fortnite. Yeah, it Fortnite. says that. Not... PUBG, not PUBG, because... Oh, yeah, she don't cut pinky, pinky. The graphics are really bad. It lags too much. What did you think of the Call of Duty Black Ops 4? I liked it. The graphics were way better. Yeah, it's pretty, it's graphically, it's beautiful. Beautiful. That's the best. Blackout is good. Multiplayer, terrible. Blackout, great. To me, it's probably better than World War Two. Oh, yeah. I oh, never liked World War Two. Yeah. Oh, that, that game just... That was such trash. The only thing I played was Prop Hunt. Prop Hunt. That's, that's fun. The, that was the only fun game on I mean, That's real fun. That's real fun. What else are you into right now? You guys are into a bunch of weird games. What kind of games are you playing over there? I'm playing Oblivion, Skyrim. Oblivion, Skyrim. These are my kids. I raised them. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm playing Madden 18. Madden 18? Okay. Yes. I'm, like, all over the place. Mariah's a Seahawks fan. There's no account Go judge! Taste. They're playing tomorrow. Anyway. Seahawks and Dolphins. I mean, how much worse can it get for Seahawks, them? Dolphins, Panthers, and Steelers. Mm -hmm. I'm a Bears fan. See, that it says uh, 6 to 15, two minutes ago on the fourth, Bears about to win. Now, anyway. <laughs> Seahawks are fifth in the league right now, and they're third. They're, mm -hmm. like, two yeah. away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but we're, we're, we're number one in our series in our division. Number one. If they, ever, if, they have, if they ever play against each other and the Seahawks win, you owe me five bucks. All right, well, we'll and see. I have two witnesses that. If they don't win, I get to punch you in the face. No. What? No. That's not fun. 
I'll, I'll pay you a dollar. No, 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 no. no. It's, yes. punch, it's punch the mill. And if or five. They, if or if they, if they win, you give me five dollars. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's fine. Five bucks for punch in the face. The easiest punch in the face I've ever got on one of these kids. All right, so <laughs> what else are we playing? Um, I play a lot of weird games. Uh, so do I. I've been uh, I've been playing a lot of a lot of older stuff lately here. Actually, um, I started playing. Well, you know, I've been playing Warframe. I don't know if you guys have played Warframe on the Xbox. It's, it's pretty good. It's a free game. First person, first person shooter. Not bad. Um, it's got its quirks. Sometimes it, it, it you know. They look like pretty stupid on um, Buddha, but uh, overall, it's a good game. Um, Xbox has given us a lot of good free games this year. I mean, a lot of really solid A or double A titles. Not really so much a triple A. They gave us Battlefield One. Yes, I know it's considered a triple A title, but eh, that's a that's a loose term, triple A on that one. Okay, real loose. Um, Still playing Halo. I play a lot of Halo. Um, I haven't played Halo in a really long time. Uh, a lot of everything, really. You know. Um, let's see. Tech news. Tech news. What's what's going on? In tech news. Uh, Comcast filed for their uh, patent for wireless cable boxes. Wireless cable boxes oh. are coming to Comcast. So the way the system is going to work, it's going to work over a private 5G network within the cities. Um, but the, the goal is to actually have Comcast cable be available to even farm homes and to out of their A reaches where they still have a cellular signal. So uh, that's going to be a big thing. Um, if you, you know, look 12 miles out of town in the middle of the country, you know, you maybe want cable and, you, and Comcast is going to provide that for you. So uh, I'm not sure what the details of the service are going to be yet, but I know that it's Comcast. It ain't going to be cheap. So, and the service is going to be mediocre at best and the and this tech support is going to be garbage just get used to that um tech support is a big one microsoft has announced that they're going to bring all of their u.s based tech support back within the united states so that will mean canada mexico and the united states will all get tech support from within the u.s um, they're going to still push off south america to spain just because of the language thing uh, but uh, yeah I mean, they're listening to the customers. They, they see what people are saying. They understand what they're doing wrong. And uh, that's where we're going to be. Um, rumor mill is that the new Xbox is a non-disc-based system. Non-disc-based system means that it will have no disc drive whatsoever. Um, the numbers that are being thrown out are that it's twice as powerful as the Xbox One X. And if it is, then it will be the f most powerful game system again beyond the PlayStation 5 specs, which have been leaked. Um, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, it's 2020 release, so probably won't be the tw Christmas 2020. Um, so we still got two years to go on that, but it'll be big. It'll be really big when it comes out. Uh, Windows is working on a new operating system. It is not a replacement for Windows 10, but a giant service pack, basically. Um... It's going to be an opt-in service pack, something some similar to the service packs we got with Windows XP, um, SP1, SP2, SP3. Difference is, is that this one here will actually change the look, feel, and design of Windows 10. They're actually listening to their customers. Uh, people want the Windows 7 taskbar and view with that type of setup, but they want to still be able to use the apps from the App Store. So that's basically what they're doing. They're making a UI that makes it work and act like Windows 7, gets rid of all the tiles, all the live tile stuff, all the stuff you don't need. Keeps the good parts of Metro, which is the, the little tiles we got to call Metro, and gets rid of all the garbage. Um, to uh, the end of this month is the official and a support for the Windows Con uh, Microsoft Connect. Connect will no longer be supported as of the end of this month, so uh, December 30th is it. That will be it for the Connect for my Xbox. They will no longer support it whatsoever. Um, they'll do repairs, but that's it. No more um, software updates, no more um, compatibility updates. So, you know, it, it was a great idea for its time, but there's just so much going beyond that that you don't need it. Um, latest Windows da or Xbox dashboard gives you access to any webcam, any mouse, any keyboard. So what do you need to connect for, honestly? So that's a thing. Um, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it looks like the Bears are about to win this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm watching the game in the 4K. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, it looks like we're going to get ready to connect again. You know, it was time. 
it needed to go. It was it was a dying platform. Who cares? Um, Nintendo's got some new little handheld project they're working on. I was reading some snippets of that. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be another DS. Um, probably a predecessor for the 3DS. Um, you know, they just came out with the, the 2DS flat one. What is that? The 2DS Lite XL? I, I don't know. It'll probably come around Poke, the next Pokemon game. Um, so, and that's being developed right now. And they're making a new movie about it. So yes, they're making a new movie about it. That's right, What kind of movie are you into right now? Horror. Well, sci-fi. Okay, sci-fi, yeah. What kind Fantasy. of Fantasy. Just watched the new Mission Impossible finally. God, it was a great movie. Great movie. Great movie. You should really watch that one. Okay. Um, I watched Happy Time Murders. That is not for the children. Mm -mm. But it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's see what else is coming out. Uh, Panasonic has applied for a new patent for a new type of disc. Red. Red Ray. Uh, so if you guys don't know, the the higher the light spectrum you get, the thinner the laser is, and the more powerful it is. More, oh no, I'm sorry, not red. Ultra, it's uh, purple. 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 So <clears throat> the higher you get up the spectrum, the, the different colors, it reaches different bit rates. Disc is store <coughs> different capacities. So, the rumors is that the purple disk drive, purple laser disk drives, can store up to 165 terabytes on one disk. 165 terabytes. Folks, that is a lot of information, okay? That is like 600 Blu-rays. 600 Blu-rays on one disk. So, yeah, that's coming out. I'm sure it'll be 2022, something like that. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, you guys like my headset? These are the Sades 926 SAs. Um, Sades make really good headsets. This is my primary gaming headset. I wear it all day, every day. It's very comfortable. Metal. Nicely built. Um, works really good. Sound is excellent on it. Um, been turned on to these. I was turned on to Sades by a friend of mine, uh, Draven, and then, uh, I think I turned him in. He turned me on. Maybe I turned him on. Either way, mm -hmm. we were turned on. Uh, so, um, either way, one of us bought one, and then I was like, oh, man, you got to try them out. And then I bought a, a set of uh, 926s, and they were really nice, really nice. But they had a, one major flaw. that was cheap, cheap soft cones, and they would flake, and it was getting old. And so I bought the 929s. These hotnesses right here, folks, if I put these on, I can even hear her talking next to me. That's how nice they are. Okay? Yes, they look like I'm flying an air fighter jet, but guess what? Break why not? I don't care. You know what? It's not, honestly, they're comfortable. They're very comfortable. You wear them all day long, you know, you need something that's really comfortable on your head. Um, so, yeah, Sades. Uh, Amazon.com. Don't buy from Chinese stores or knockoffs. Buy from, from Amazon with Amazon Retail Partner. Where you get the two day, if you don't say two to four day shipping, don't buy Okay, because my buddy Draven, he got stuck on a pair, and it was like 31 days delivery. It, it was rough. It was rough. But, you know, they were $2 cheaper. He didn't realize that $2 meant they came from Xinjiang, Xinjiang, China. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, buy, buy legitimate quality products. Let's talk about the latest phones. What about the latest phones, maybe? The latest phones? Like phones. Oh, phones. 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 Okay. You want to talk about the Xbox or the stupid iPhone? Yeah. Let's right. talk about how Let's talk about iCrap. All right. So the newest iCrap. The iPhone XR. So they took the iPhone XR, they tore it apart, looked at the specs, went through it, come to find out it's basically X, it's an iPhone 8S. That's it. New screen. I mean, it just new screen and new camera, folks. There's nothing physically. There's no home button. You no just home button. There's a face lock. That's nothing. No that's button. broke. Just, just so you know, the software's broke. It's People probably forget it, all the way around it. It's basically the iPhone X. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Which the iPhone X, the iPhone XS, that iPhone XR is really bad. The camera doesn't even look. Here's my problem. So here's my problem with with iPhones. Okay? okay, so you buy an iPhone. Read the ELU. Just read it. Okay, the analyze your user agreement. You have you know the thing you, you kids just get whatever. Yeah, when I, had, when I, had I don't care. Take my life. Blah, 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 blah. You should really watch the South Park episode. Anyways. I do. 
Don't yell at the mic. I'm sorry. The people can hear you. Jesus Christ. Me. Anyway, so take a picture of your iPhone. It don't belong to you. Think I'm joking. Read your analyzer user agreement. Take a video on your phone. It don't belong to you. Send a text on your phone. It doesn't belong to you. Receive a text on your phone. It doesn't belong to you. Sign in your email. They have the right to go through your email. It's literally in their ELU. They have the legal right to any data stored or pushed from or to that device. So anything you put in there, your contacts, yep, that's theirs. And this case went so far as in Europe, Europe actually fined Apple because Apple was storing user data without their permission. So they would store your contact books. Now, yes, Google does the same thing. But if you read Google's thing, it tells you, we're going to store this online. We have access to this, but we limit access under the NSA Act, which is, you know, basically Homeland Security. We limit the access. So you know up front, hey, if I mess up, Google's going to give my stuff away. Apple, well, they're under this, well, what is, you can lock your phone and we won't, we won't unlock it. Well, it takes about two seconds to unlock any iPhone, okay? Any serious tech guru or any serious tech guy can unlock an iPhone so fast and make your eyes cry. Okay, it's that fast. It's immediately that fast. Yeah. Call their second time off. And bears one. They're going to play the clock out. Anyways, good up. Go back. So, yeah. iPhone, trash. Samsung, trash. Yes, Samsung is trash. I bet you didn't know that. Well, you have a Samsung computer. I do. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. But it's a computer, not a phone. So, um... What about the Google Pixel 3? Oh, the Google phones are pretty good, actually, because they're open source. You see, it's, it's Google making hardware for Google on Google devices running Google software. There's nothing being held up. The problem with phones is not the phone that's the problem. The phone, the phone's fine, by the way. It's the software Samsung puts on there. Okay. You know, they dumb down Android or whatever version they want. Oh, it's Android 8, but we took half of it away and put some crap in there called Samsung and sprinkle a garbage in there and a shake of retard and there you go hey it's phone yay it look it's got design. edges by the way the the samsung galaxy edge that's a retard phone that's a terrible phone terrible 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 phone it only takes one of those little edges get cracked your phone don't work think about that folks anyways so yeah samsung so yeah i think what's gonna happen this week here is i'm gonna i'm gonna do another show with jennifer my other child well, one of my other children. I have three. But Zoe's a little too small. I'm sure you guys don't want a four-year-old sitting there looking at the camera saying hi to the world. Or maybe, you freaks. I don't know. Talking about the buffet. Yeah. But I want to do a show, and I think I'm going to do a show with Jennifer dealing with, um, God, as much as it hurts me to say this, stuff she's into. And she's into some weird, crazy, psychotic, deep, dark, Annabelle, wild, crazy shit. Stupid stuff. I, I, whatever. What else should I do? But on top of that, I'm going to do some uh, midweek tech talk. So I'm thinking maybe Wednesday night, if you folks want to turn back in. I'm, I'm going to probably do it earlier. Now that I got all the bugs where I had a lot of issues tonight. So I had a mic that just died for no reason. Okay, it's just like, hey, I don't want to work no more. And I um, went to go put a new mic on, and that caused my computer to say, hey, your sound card doesn't exist. I need you and want you to die. So I had to go through reinstall software. I'm on the headset. You see, it's it was it was a headache. It was a terrible headache, and I'm gonna go punch somebody in Samsung in the face for it. They're going to pay, trust me. But um, anyways, so I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Um, glad we got to this it and do this show. Um, I'm gonna try to do some more. It'll be a little more fancier, a little more polished. Um, this was kind of an impromptu thing. I said, I told Jay last night, like, hey, you know what? I missed last night's show, and I'm going to do something tonight. So, here we are. We did something. Um, but, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions or answers you needed asked, uh, answered for, you know, anything to deal with Windows or anything like that, you can typically type us there in the message board, and Jay will make sure it gets to me, and I will answer them. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have any tech questions that are serious tech questions that you need to answer, you can go to my uh, Facebook page, which is Facebook slash Nix Electronics. And uh, I'll be sure to answer you definitely over there. And uh, I want to say uh, thank you, Mariah, for doing the show with me tonight. Did you have a good time? Yeah. 
Want to do this again? Yeah. All right, well, after Jay watched this one, probably won't be allowed, but they're like, what the hell is that? Oh. <laughs> Keep the fat guy in the blot off the screen. But anyway, so this is Nick from Vanishing Gates saying thank you guys all for uh, tuning in tonight. This is Mariah from Vanishing Gates saying good night. Good night, guys.